King Games the first here, and welcome back to Pal World. I'm going to try and keep this relatively short and sweet, straight to the point. Uh, I'm going to show you how to hopefully fully enclose a base in on this uh, everybody's favorite ore and coal spot. It can be kind of hard to do because it's very uneven ground. Uh, but first thing is you're going to want to start right here at this little this little bump, the highest point, and you're going to want to build. At least I like to build where it's poking through just a little bit, kind of at a corner. Right now, I like to build back towards this area. You've got the, the coal over on your right and the ore over on your left. And you got a little bit of flat ground out there. So build, kind of poking through about as much as you can tolerate. Right, so having this poke through a little bit is means the foundations are gonna be just a little bit lower overall. And that means you're going to be able to maximize the amount of floor space you've got with this first little bit. Alright, so this next bit, this is the most important part. Now note, this next section that you're going to build is technically not going to be connected to the rest of this. And you need to be really patient here, guys, as in, if you build the next, I don't know, 100 pieces of structure and then you find out it's not lined up, you probably need to be willing to tear it all down and start again. Uh, because if you do this right, you'll get the pieces to line up so closely that you won't really be able to tell that they're not connected. So you'll place one set of stairs going down, right? And then you get your foundation lined up as best you can. You're going to want to try and place it. It's hard to see, especially where it clips through. And I can't really tell from here how lined up I am. Try and line it up. Let's try there. Let's go here. Let's just try and check it. All right. Let's drop our stairs. What you want, what I really want to do here is, I think I want to test it all the way around. So give me a second. Actually, so it's a little off there. Here, like I said, be willing to start again. Let me just do that. Here's the part that I really want to test. Okay, that's super important. One, that you can get this foundation directly uh, next to that one. Because once you do this, you're pretty much set. As far as the maximum amount of floor space. Um, and basically, well it won't, not that it'll let you, but as long as you don't place a foundation directly over a node, it will respawn. All right, but let's see. Go here, here, and voila. Now what we've got is something that's basically completely passable. Up one side and down the other off of both sides. Um, I think this area here is the hardest. We're going to 
see if that works. I think it should. And I say this side's the hardest uh, because if you don't get all of the foundations uh, at least within two spaces of each other, uh, what tends to happen is there's going to be holes in the roof where you can't actually place a floor because there's not going to be enough support. So just keep that in mind. See, it would let me place this one, but then that node would not respawn. So we're not going to do that. And it's the same there. All right, that's fine. Let me fill some of this in, and then I'll be right back with you guys. All right, so I uh, removed a bunch of the trees, spent most of the night clearing them out, moved the PAL box a little bit, and this is what we've got so far. So we're gonna trim this little bit off over here. Oh, okay. Thank you for telling me that. Anyway, we, um, we're gonna trim this out here for those of you that, who might be playing on multiplayer. Uh, anything you put out here would start deteriorating anyway. So we're not gonna worry about that, but look how much more, I guess, flat buildable area we've got now that we've placed the foundations down. And the way we've done it, Look how well it lines up. Okay, thank you for telling me that again. Um, anyway. All right, so now that we've got the floor area, and I don't think at any point there's more than two spaces worth of gap. So as long as you, because you can go two spaces out from a foundation. So as long as you've got it set up like that, you'll be able to put uh, ceilings over all of it. This area might be a little more tricky, but we'll see when we get up there. Um, it might not be a problem. I think the ceilings might be able to meet with each other on opposite ends. So that should be fine. Um, the next step is, well, probably first getting more stone. Uh, yep. All right, I'll be right back. Say about here. Alright, so, and then, the way I do recommend doing this part, uh, simply because you do tend to get a little bit of a gap, so this will allow you to not have to do it absolutely perfectly. Oh my goodness, stop. What is happening right now? Okay. Game is glitching out. Um, hold on, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna back out and come back. Okay. Well, this should work well enough as a proof of concept at least. All right, now I did make a few mis uh, a few mistakes here and there, and uh, that leads to a few, you can kind of see that seam there, and then, then it wouldn't let me place those two, and it wouldn't let me place that whole row. So on single player, um, that doesn't really bother me. Um, maybe in a future update, they'll give us some corner pieces or something, and that'll help us further hide stuff like that. Um, of course, you can do a lot more to decorate, but just to show you how, how well it works, get a good view of the whole thing, got your way in and out, you can check out the inside. Alright, 
nice and spacious. So you start putting all your stuff anyway. Now personally, personally, I like to use the bottom floor. Uh, it'll just be the ore harvesting, the containers to put it in, and then the smelters. And then uh, maybe a few beds here and there. Uh, and then I like to use the second floor. This is where I'd put all my crafting benches and uh, more beds and hot springs and things of that nature. And if you guys are doing those all in one basis, if you want to do your farms, um, like breeding and ranches and plantations, you can go three, four, five, however many floors high you need to fit all your stuff. But uh, this is enough to show you guys how, you know, how this all goes down, right? Right, and like I said, you know, if you if you're willing to tear it all down and start again, little stuff like that, you guys can fix. But anyway, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. So I hope that helps some of you. But anyway, like and subscribe. I will see you all in the next one.